Okay, I find that for enough people, it's been long enough since learning about Cartesian coordinates, graphs, graphs paper, the X, Y, Z coordinate system, that it's worth confirming that we're on the same page here. Check out my work coordinate system. It has an origin right here where the X and the Y axis cross. That's zero, zero. The X axis runs left to right, and it's positive to the right and negative to the left. The y-axis goes front to back. Positive y goes towards the back of the mill. Negative y comes towards the front of the mill. Now think about your material existing within this coordinate system. I could put the coordinate system anywhere relative to my material. I could center it on my material. I could place my origin at the back left of my material, the front left of my material, the back right, or the front right. And because I'm working in three dimensions, I also need to decide whether the origin of my z-axis is at the bottom of my material or at the top of my material. We already took some time to establish the origin of our work coordinate system in Fusion to be the top, back, left corner. So that's the one we're going to use. Now imagine that you're loading your stock into the vise onto the parallels. And when you do, imagine that this piece of graph paper is right there with you. And imagine that your tool is parked right there at the top back left corner of your material. Good. Now watch closely. There's an optical illusion here that makes this concept very difficult for a lot of beginners to grasp. And you can check to see if you've got the concept by asking, as I handle jog the mill, which way am I moving, left or right? And you might think that's easy. Just look at the thousand pounds of steel that are heading to the left. You're obviously moving left. But if you can shift your perspective and ignore the thousand pounds of steel and just imagine the graph paper, the work coordinate system, the work itself. In there, it becomes clear that we're actually moving to the right. Now see if you can hang on to this concept further out with more distractions. Can you see how, from the point of view of our tool, we are heading to the right, away from the zero point on the x-axis, in the positive direction. Fusion is going to show movements on the positive direction as though the tool itself in the spindle can move. But on our mill, it can't. The spindle can only go up and down. The table has to move in the opposite direction underneath the tool to create this behavior. You can get past the optical illusion on the y-axis with the same kind of thinking. Don't ask which direction is the table moving. Ask which direction is my tool moving relative to the origin. In this case, it's moving in the negative direction.